In this video, we will see how to define a pipeline variable in Azure Pipelines and use PowerShell task in the pipeline to print its value. So here I have the Git repository in Azure Git repos. This is just a plain .NET Core application. Our code, we will define a variable group here. Let's give the name of the variable group as demoware group and add a new variable inside it. Uh, let's call it test variable and we will provide the value as Azure Ware library. Uh, let's save it. Now we will uh, go back to pipelines and let's create a new pipeline. Uh, we will select the Azure repository git and we will select the repository uh, and then I will select ASP.NET Core application. Uh, this will give us uh, a default template for uh, .NET Core YAML pipeline. We will change the server to Windows 20, build server to Windows 2019. Now again go to the pipeline and we will edit it to import the variable group that we created earlier. Now let's import the variable group. Let's copy the name and paste it here. Now since we are defining a variable group, um, then we have to change the way how uh, we define the other variables also otherwise and the YAML pipeline will talk will not take uh, the value of our variable group. So we have to define it in a name and value pair. Now let's define a new variable called test where, which will store the value of our variable uh, that we defined earlier called test variable. So to access the value we have to use the dollar syntax now let's add a new powershell task under steps click on add now this is a new powershell task now we will just define uh, the command uh, to print our variable value. So here we will print uh, the value of the variable. Now there is a correction here. Uh, we have to use test where inside the dollar syntax. Now click on save. Now click on uh, run pipeline. But the pipeline will not run yet because we have to define the permissions uh, to access uh, the library uh, variable value from our pipeline. So let's do that. Go to library open the variable group and go to pipeline permissions and select our pipeline name here. Click on run pipeline uh, to execute it. And here in some time we will be able to see our PowerShell task and variable value. So here uh, we can see that uh, we are able to access the uh, variable value from the library and print it using a PowerShell task.